And good morning again, and welcome back. Of course, we're in Sharon's morning. kitchen. Yes. Well, you know, we start out the new year. January already gone. Uh-huh. This yeah, is the final can day. See. Yes. So we're settling in the new year already. And um, I'm sure that they, the January month had gone, and there was quite a bit already um, put out there. And um, today, there's some more recipes coming up, as, as usual, you know. I'm in my kitchen busy always trying to create new things. And, and I'm excited about that because it means it's good. Well, today we're dealing with milks. All right. And um, it's the, everybody know the cake as a tres leche cake, which is, yeah. you know, three, three milks. milks. Yeah. And, and it, we call it Grace Three Milk Cake because of all the milk from Grace that would be put in there. As you can see, I have a cake over there. All right. And I want to say that this cake has no oil in it. Hmm. It carries like eight eggs, two cups of flour, two te uh, teaspoons of uh, baking powder, and um, a little bit of lemon, rime, and um, basically that's it. The flour oh, and sugar, not to forget a, a cup and a quarter sugar. So the egg basically is what holding it together. And the reason for that, it's not sweet at all, because of all these milk, so can I cut it? <laughs> all the milk that are, are supposed to be going in there. Okay. So w let's start with the. Um, so it's a special cake, just for the interest, uh, leche. Yes, and of course people do use the regular cake mix. But, but then it becomes a bit too sweet. And and not only sweet, but it, it would be extremely saggy because of it's not a firm. It w it's more moist. That's and a good so, point you're making. So that's why I use that recipe for that for this specific cake. So okay. we have the the. Thing all heat up here. What I have here is two egg yolk. Okay. Right? And I'm going to put a little water in my cornstarch, which is three tablespoons. Okay. And get that waste away. The rest of this water is going to go in here. Okay. And this was too. Tell me how I can help, please. Yeah, you'll be stirring this because this <laughs> needs a lot of stirring so it okay. won't, won't stick. So here we go. That's with the, the cornstarch. That's right. So we get that waste away. What I have here is um, some rum. Okay. Actually, this one is brandy, but you could use any any rum, and it's and two tablespoons. And you put that with the. That's right, right in there, and that's that's the essence of rum that I use. Right. And now the stirring begin when we enter this in there. Okay. Get your spoon there. Okay, so get stir that up. What we have here is some condensed milk. And we use about half can, which is like three quarter cups, sorry. So this will get it nice and sweet. There we go. So we're making a filling here for the cake. So this is all the sweetness that's going to go in there. It's about half can, you say? Yes. Smells like custard. And that's what it will looks like when it's hard <laughs> done. <laughs> yes. There you go. Feels like half can. I haven't had custard in the All long right. yet. Now we put some vanilla, of course. Okay. For flavoring. There we go. And like a, a little teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. Mmm, smells really yeah. good. So like I said, what we make in there is a, a filling. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Okay. And now we're going to be thickening it up. With the cornstarch. Yeah, so you need to keep stirring there. All right. And that's all finished there. What I'm going to be doing here is putting milk, all the milks together. Okay. So we have a can of milk here. And the rest of the, the other half can of condensed milk. Okay. So you, while you're doing that, I am making, making it sure that custard. That, yeah. Yeah. See, it's just already farming up, and that's basically what how they do custard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. A little bit thicker than that, and we're okay. set. Take it out the stove on that. Okay. So getting all this milk out. <laughs> uh oh, I made a. <laughs> I made a little boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> it needs lower, it's too high. 
Yeah. All right, there you go. I so know you can't go too fast or it will spill. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can out that because it sits for a while and gets all, gets Solid. even more firm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, get all this milk out this can. All right. Okay. So what I have here is a half can of condensed milk and the Grace evaporated milk. This is some Gloria milk. All right. So I'll leave that to stand for a minute. Meanwhile, you finish it. How much milk do you Ooh. put in the... We put a can of uh, evaporated, half can of condensed milk, and just uh -huh. a half cup of Gloria. Okay. And it's all the milk we have here. Can we stir that up too? I just uh, mix that in. Just oh, okay. Oh, well, today is a... Uh, Spilling We're day. making mess <laughs> And this is a spilling <laughs> day. All right, let's get it all blend in there. Oh, nice. All right. Now the big part of it is the the cake. All right. We get so we cake. have the cake here. You said it's a special cake, so it's not as sweet. And it's made differently in that yes, there's it no does oil. Yes, no oil in there. And less sugar. So let's get the cutting board and put it here. Okay. And maybe we could put that over there. Okay. So out of the way. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is cutting. Let's do it this way. Okay. All right. We get the bottom cut off. Okay. So it's going to be cut in three. Okay. And some people don't like doing this cake because of um, the amount of work you have. <laughs> Oh, see, Dang. I didn't know that you had to do, actually do it. So you there's it, different ways to do it, but this way it gets all soaked with the the, the milk uh, and equally. Yes, because people would put holes in it. Uh huh. Okay, so what we do here is now do you have the milk? Uh -huh. do, do you have to fold this with the custard? We're gonna like be make sure we're gonna wet this up and then put the custard. Ah, there we go. so okay. I'm gonna get this all in there and actually this is a cake after it's all cooled down goes into your refrigerator yeah this is a cold cake right and then you put some of that huh. that filling in there okay that's enough yeah and just spread it all over I could do that okay all right now we put the other ah. Oh, we do the same. Now, depending on how moist you like it is how much of yes. the fluid you actually and, add. And, and like I said, with this cake, with this type cake, you could put enough um, liquid on it because it will, it will hold. And, and like you said, as much as you want it, how moist you want it, then that's how much liquid you use. Then. There you go. Okay, let me put... Custard like next. I said the, once you get your cake done, okay. get your cake baked. This part of it, like I said, it's pretty easy. You make up a custard and and you get your milk put in there. There we go. Now on this side, I remember on the top part, we're gonna be basing that. Ah. So that this gets that will not get the custard that we just because there's so much custard there already. Or we get okay. the milk into so we're this done with one, the yeah. Put as much milk as you. There we go. It brings a new meaning to milk yeah. cake. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's a popular cake all over because yeah, uh, people, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like a it. A lot of people likes it. There we go. And we put the top on. Yeah. And, and, and with cakes like this, you could basically um, put any frosting, any topping you would like on there. So um, why not put, if you want more custard on top? If you want the custard, you can't? So some, you, it's like I said, you could put any okay. topping, you could put any topping on this. You, uh, in, like I said, we could even make a, a chocolate with the Roma coffee, um, mm -hmm. the Roma cocoa, and do a syrup thing all over it. You know, you could, okay. so while well, I have one made up with some topping on there, there we go. Wow. 
And uh, actually, that's an, that's an egg, egg topping. Wow. So, um, and it's, it it's all garnished with um, some cinnamon. So I want to I wanna cut that one, if you put this one aside. Okay, I want to cut that one so people see. The and you can consume it like this if you'd like. Oh, yeah, you could do, because yeah. it has so many sweet, sweet to it already. If you don't want to put anything on there, you could just have it that way. So let's cut this one okay. so that people can see actually this. see. Uh. And this one actually was refrigerated. Yes, it, it, because it should sit in, in the yeah. refrigerator for, for a while. So, What's your recommendation about, what, an hour before you consume? I would, say about, I would say about an hour, but uh, the, the longer it's in there, the better it the coagulates better, yes, and holds that's together. Right. Uh, Let's see. All right. There you go. And there you have it. And like, most people would do um would they would save the the, the liquid and will put mm. more liquid over it. I went to Chetamal and I had it that way, but it was extra So milk you can get poured. extra if you want you just, and it's an option. And it's an, yeah. So it's all depends. But that's our Tresleche cake and that's my version of a Tresleche tres cake. And right, like I said, Greece, I do that recipe because of all the the milk and stuff so that the cake, if you notice, the cake is still nice and firm and it's not... It is. Yes. It's not soggy and, and breaking apart. So that's the reason I use the recipe for, for that cake. Well, Sharon, right. so thank you very much. Yeah, we did it one more time. We did it one more time. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm becoming how. a master baker. <laughs> 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 In yeah. theory, I have all the lessons down. It's not the practice. Yes. I want to remind people of all these products. Um, Basically, everything they see here, I, I, I use the, the baking powder um, that I used in there. It's, it's great. It, like I said, it stays, it, the little packets keep everything, keep all the, the, the baking powders fresh. Mm -hmm. So you open each packet, you know, you got good, um, good fresh baking powder. How is it? It's good. And you're right, it's firm. That's, it's so not all mushy. And, yeah. and, and, and you can up to whether you want to add more custard or more, or the, more the milk over it. I want to um, tell people that um, we have a bonus show coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the seventh. There's another show next week, and that's leading up to the the um, Asian uh, New Year's. Mm -hmm. So they'll be on the show. So there will be a special show with um, the, the 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 Chinese people coming in and um, doing their their thing for the New Year, which is uh, I think it's on the the ninth or the tenth. The tenth. Mm -hmm. Of February, so people they could look out. I just want them to know there's another show, so tune in. So next week with uh, Grace and you will be on again, and um, this time something Oriental. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sharon, for sharing your trust letters. We're gonna go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, I'll take some of this down to Marlene. Don't go anywhere. We'll right. send you some too.